Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 16th of January. Looks like temperatures will stay below average for a while and prospects of any big rain or snow type event look pretty small as the air stays dry. Let's go in there and take a look at the water vapor satellite view early this morning. Big upper trough positioned over the eastern third of the United States and within that several little waves are embedded. Uh, those originate up in Canada. Those are called Alberta Clippers. Wave number one came through yesterday. Wave number two northwest of here comes through tomorrow, and each one will drag down colder air. And, man, it's cold, colder than forecast. You know, yesterday temperatures were a little warmer than forecast. This morning, a little colder than forecast. It's cold as 17 at Haleyville, Coleman at 19. At, uh, these were captured at 5 o'clock, Birmingham at 21. We'll expect a high in the upper 40s today, but the sky will be sunny. And around the nation, you can see that flow of colder air down over the eastern U.S. And again, the second phase arrives tomorrow. Uh, up north, blizzard warnings for parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas. High wind warnings for the uh, high plains. But down here, things are quiet. Those advisories down in Florida have to do with uh, cold and frost deep down into the sunshine state. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week, and this is trying to suggest rain amounts of maybe a tenth to a quarter inch. I don't think we get that much. There could be a little bit maybe uh, this evening with a front coming in. Uh, then again, maybe Monday night or early Tuesday of next week, but the moisture is just lacking for anything significant. And if you're looking for snow, there's some ideas. This is the chance of greater than one inch from 6 o'clock this evening until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And with the next clipper, the better chance of getting some snow down will be uh, well to the northeast of here. I guess somebody might see a flake or two up in the northeastern corner of the state, but most places stay dry. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06E run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the next clipper northwest of here, down below that. The day will be sunny with upper 40s. As that boundary comes in here tonight, I guess there could be a sprinkle or two Maybe 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight, but uh, with the lack of moisture, won't amount to much at all. All right, this is tomorrow. The trough sharpens up, and down below that, the thickness values come down. The temperature forecasts have actually come up a little bit at the surface as the thickness values are not as low as they have been. The GFS is printing a high of 46 tomorrow, so we'll come down a few degrees, but not a lot, not a dramatic change. In fact, the, the NAM is printing a high of 50 tomorrow, so we'll probably bump our numbers up a little bit. And the pressure gradient not as tight. It'll be breezy, but not especially windy. This is Saturday starting off the weekend. Saturday morning will be cold. The low down around 20, much like this morning. The colder pockets go in the upper teens. But during the day Saturday, we should warm up into the upper 40s or low 50s. And the sky will be bright and sunny. Should be a pretty decent day once we get past that morning chill. This is Sunday. Start the day around freezing. High should be low to mid-50s. A pretty decent midwinter day. Temperatures right where they should be for mid-January. Here's Monday of next week. Moisture levels rise a little bit, but not much. This is Monday at 6 o'clock. You can see a surface boundary coming in with the next clipper-type feature. Same deal like tonight. There could be a few sprinkles Monday night, maybe a shower somewhere, but uh, hardly any moisture means nothing significant. And this is Tuesday, and we cool down again. Highs go back in the mid to upper 40s. And a week from today, same deal. We've got a ridge in the west, trough in the east, and embedded waves come down the backside of the trough from time to time, reinforcing the colder air. And on Wednesday, the thickness values come down. Uh, that would suggest highs dropping into the low and mid-40s with a pretty good little north breeze. And Thursday, a week from today, cool and dry. And you get the idea. We're not going to have any, you know, severe weather for sure, no instability, no big rain events, no moisture. And no winter storm events, same thing, no moisture. It's cold from time to time. 
So uh, this is just nice and quiet and calm. Temperatures will average a little below where they should be, I think, for this time of the year. We'll go out there uh, toward the following weekend. This is January 26th. That's a close call right there. Uh, that's a very close call with snow or ice over the Tennessee Valley. We've seen hints of that in other runs. And the next day, the 27th, uh, Monday the 27th, it's uh, cold as that system exits. Here's the end of the forecast, the end of the month, the 31st of January. Still ridging in the west, troughing in the east, and down below that same thing. We get these shots of cold air, nothing extremely cold. Um, but again, no sign of any major issues except for that flirt with maybe a winter weather situation in 10 days or so. We'll keep an eye on that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.